All right, so it's as cold as ice outside. Willing to sacrifice uh, my love or something. Uh, nothing. Uh. Must be at least 40 below outside right now because the old dirty Dysel there, uh, my buddy Legan, got the cardboard zip tied into the old radiator there so she can start up, right? I mean, I guess we'll see tomorrow at work if he comes in, right? Probably won't, but anyway, gonna show you how to drywall underneath the stairs, but uh, it's also gonna kind of serve as a music, uh, music. <laughs> it's also gonna kind of serve as a video to document uh, the cuteness that is this door that I created for Peep there. So as you can see down there, the old door that was there, was sucking. And so I uh, made this one through the wall. This is gonna be her little lavatory there. As you can see, it goes right through like that, right? Just like that. There's one part of it that I'm not gonna get to do again. So I figured I'd bring you guys along for the ride. I couldn't find any videos on how to do it online. So uh, first of all, grab a bunch of scrap wood. Well, first of all, no, second of all. No, first of all, you're gonna, okay, second of all. No, first and second of all. Gonna wanna go in here, all right. We're in here. There's mattress toppers on the roof, you know, misspent youth, right? Okay, now we're in the, uh, the old prison, I mean, uh, underneath the I mean, uh, kept against there. So the whole reason why this thing started up, right, was had some leftover drywalls, right, and I wanted to get them uh, used up. So I, I was like, oh, I'll just drywall this wall here, using all different uh, thicknesses of drywall, which made it really easy to uh, mud. Just be glad you didn't come along for that, right? Wow. Uh, so it turned to that from to that from just doing that wall. I was like, oh well, I just kind of want to do this wall too. So I go buy another sheet of her, right? I get her on there, get her all drywalled up, built that door down there. Uh, this is the one you saw from outside, obviously there's peep hello that's her door coming right through eh? check it out model it where are you going oh well, she goes so i got this drywalled and i'm a man who can never leave well enough alone right okay go back this way bud all right i noticed i got some stairs here and i uh wanted to drywall those too so i mean if you've ever bitten off more than you could chew you'll understand but if there's nothing i'm good at other than doing nothing and something or something or nothing is gonna be uh putting up uh, videos of me doing stuff poorly so i mean as best to the abilities that we are given or received or anyway so i kind of got started without you because i was uh halfway done the project before i realized so I got this going, basically measured out a tube bifer, a tubifer, right across this one obviously was not cut very well, so I just jammed another one in there, right? You just take a horizontal here and then just whee, just get her in, and then you're good. Uh, and then, uh, so I did that with all these ones. This one's an actual measured one, so that's pretty good. So I spaced them out every two stairs because I think that's probably all I'm gonna need. Oh, hi Pete, there she is again. But who knows, might need more. But now all that's left is cut the drywall to the right size and then hang her up there. So kinda wanted to show you that. Peep's already eating the walls. Peep, stop it. Hey. Quit it. Thank you. Well, all right. So we're back in the garage again. And uh, if it's 40 below outside, it's 40 below inside as per usual. So it's pretty cold in here. I got a little space heater going if that's the noise that you're hearing and that's the noise that you're doing or something or nothing. And it's barely putting off anything, but it's better than nothing. Uh, so I measured that distance across the stairs and it sort of comes to a taper. It goes from 91 and a half down to 90. So I'm just going to hit her at like a 90 and a half. Yeah, I'll do like a 90 and a half straight. So I don't want to mess with the taper. I'll just mud it, right? Like who cares, right? Not me. I don't care at all. So it's going to be probably easiest to do this in one just fell swoop, right? can put the camera angler there. So I got this one split already at the home depot and I'm gonna show you how they do it and how I did it and how we'll all do it. Bust out the drywall T-square there. Uh, what did I say that the measurement was? Oh, comments below, let me know. I think that I said it was 90. 90 and a half is what I'm gonna go with. Okay, so measuring her out. Okay, so that's 90 and a half. Slide the T-square there. Knock her right up to that. The beauty about the drywall T-square there is that it's, uh, well, it just makes it, it just makes it easier, guys. That's the beauty of it is it's easy. Just off in the background there. Ooh, a file. I'm gonna need that. You guys can probably hear me pretty well. I got this new piece going here, right? Oh yeah, here, I guess I'll use this thing. This one's not that good of a knife, but I mean, you just work with what you have. And if you don't have anything, you don't really do any work except you do. Sort of, I guess. Okay, he's kneeling on it. There's gonna be lots of rocks and various detritus and debris on the bottom of your garage floor there because you didn't take the time to clean her up. You didn't think that far ahead. Had a 50% per 50 chance of putting your drywall face in the wrong direction, but you faced it the right direction. So all those pieces of rock and detritus and debris are poking in the backside, which is, that's all right. We're used to that, right? Yep. And we're just gonna mark her all the way down. Okay, not the straightest line, but that's all right. Also, who knows? I might've taught you guys or showed you guys this a hundred times already. I would never know. Probably shouldn't be teaching anyone anything, right? And once you get that like that, lifter embedded with Debris. Guy, okay, finish what you're doing. Quit sitting there doing what you weren't doing and finish what you're doing. So once you score it, hit it on the backside, just like that, bam. And she breaks down the center like that. Hopefully you guys can see that. I know you can hear it because I got this new task cam. Man, you just said that. They've already heard. Where'd the knife go? Oh, he put it away in his pocket open. That's good too. So now you take your knife on the backside there. Dull. And I'm just cutting away the backside. 
and that cut is just grotesque. That's just one of the ugliest cuts you ever did see. There's nothing you can do about that. You can only you can only work with what you're given and at this point in time you weren't given very much. All right so we're back under the stairs. It's definitely not been like an hour or two or two or three or four or maybe five hours. Didn't take us that long to uh, cut the drywall of course. Anyway if you're looking here I had to cut out a little section there because down there as I showed you before the wall's not doing that great uh, for being lined up from whoever put it in there. But we got these guys and the reason why I put those in I might have mentioned them but I didn't explain why they're there because I could probably get away with like hanging the drywall just off of this but because it's like a, a quite a distance I don't want it to be sagging at all especially being on the bottom of the stairs right it's going to be banging and moving around and any sort of mudding that I do it's just going to crack and fall apart like I I've also been having trouble I'm not sure if it's uh, going to be showing up on this one or not but having trouble getting these like uh horizontal lines going down the screen right it's something to do with the frame rate and then uh, the 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 uh, Oh, hi, peep. She just came in. She's coming to check out the work, right? Obviously trying to eat the drywall in the other detritus that's on the ground. Uh, I tried to vacuum every five minutes or whatever because she's coming by to check on me periodically. Obviously is going to be eating whatever she can find and even some things that she can't find, right? How that works, I still don't know. Obviously, I grabbed my trusty rusty, this guy. Some screws. I haven't checked that I, this little bit of drywall that I cut out is actually the right amount, but... I mean, to the victor goes the spoils, or I guess to anyone, doesn't necessarily gotta be a guy named Victor, it could be really anyone, right? Bree's just gonna come back from work, right? She's, oh, she's not, you're picking her up. She's just gonna find me down in here, right? Just laying on my back, okay. We've got a crisis that is happening already. I know it's ugly, guys, I'm sorry. Oh no, she's getting wedged on the cord, guys. Okay, so we're not quite down there. I'm sorry, guys, I know it's not pretty. It's ugly, guys. It's gross, guys, guys, it's nasty. Oh, okay. <sighs> This is the content you asked for. This is what you're gonna get, guys. Nobody asked for it. Oh man, it's ugly. Guys, it's ugly. <laughs> guys, this bit's not looking that great. Having a hard time getting her in, guys. <laughs> what if we cut her straight? Then that would have been good. We jammed her and broke her, guys. Oh, peep, no, don't come in, no. And I think that's working out good, guys. We jammed her in, got a little defirmed there, but that's all right, just cut that out. Let's say that's a success. I actually don't know what happened here, guys. Somebody must have come along and just dickered this part. Obviously, that wasn't me, right? Man, you should have remembered where your rigs were. Yeah, I have no idea where they're gonna be now. Oh, peep, she's coming in, she's got her little chew toy there. Oh, sorry, peep. <laughs> she's carrying her around, why are you doing that, peep? It's gonna be a long one, boys. And girls. Oh yeah, I can see her. It's just about midway here. What a mess. Sorry guys and girls. Oh yeah, right on target. It's looking ugly right now. That's not looking great there, but it'll be looking okay in a bit, I think maybe. Man, that's just grotesque. What I have done here guys is just grotesque. Got her. And we're just gonna go along the whole way up. Just destroying all the work he's done. I did a lot of work to make it look good and now I've wrecked it. Oh, this is all falling apart. Detritus. <laughs> Mister, I forgot that this one's over a bit more. Bye, Pete. See you later. Oh, no, she's back. I think I forgot this one's like here. It's really hard to get this angle going. We'll go with this one here. People are going to be watching this just be like, what a weird choice that guy made. Why did he make the choice to do it like that? What a weird angle. Oh, gross. Oh, gross. How can you miss that? I can't believe I've done this. She's almost out of juice. Oh, she's dead, guys. All right. We've made some progress. Pro dress. Some progresses. Huh? Uh, as you can see down there, it's going all the way back. We got this guy there. We cut out. That's all right. That's looking good. And then we got that guy there. That's looking pretty good. Got these guys going here. Wow, what's that? What's that? What's that? That's nothing. All right, that's nothing. That was a defect. A defect. That was a defect. Flip the screen around. Got to make sure I can look at myself, right? So at the seam here, you can see how there's just a bunch of these guys going. And that's because I got this guy going. If you can see that, that's a, that's a length of plywood that I cut special. Just getting it with scrap wood, right? It's grabbed her. Otherwise, like you can see this, see how that moves? That's gonna mess up your mud. When you're trying to mud it, it's just gonna crack. And it's gonna, every time you push on it, it's just gonna split and you're just gonna hate your life. So what this does is it essentially creates a seam where there wasn't a seam. And then your result is this, that it moves in unison. So you don't get that. Just little tricks I figured out along the way, mainly through trial and error. Lots of errors, a lot of trials, court of public opinion on that one and the uh the opinion is uh bah, just stop talking but just get her no I never never tune talk we're hooning we're hooning and that's all right maybe i'll make this my new hoons but no i won't it's got a cat door it's gonna be the pooper for the cat for the peep gonna be the peep pooper 
I haven't really figured out what I'm gonna do on the roof there. In due time, right? In time, do. Do things in time. Words of wisdom. I think I gotta go up past this central air thing that I cut out a little slot for, uh, just in case we wanna do that. So what I think I might do is just, uh, after I get to this point, fill this one in, obviously. Then after I get there, I might just like uh, follow the lines of the, the rig here. It might look good, it might not. You never really know, right? Maybe I'll go along this, across there, up there, up over there. Maybe that's what I'll do. But uh, hopefully it gets rid of these. That's a spider web. They're still in here, guys. There's a nest for the spiders. I know one time I caught two big guys in here. I didn't catch them, I sucked them up with the vacuum because you know why don't really but yeah so i sucked her off in the uh something sucked her uh, all right just quit while you're like slightly behind right okay well you know what i'll get back at you when i get the rest of this done and mudded because it's taken uh quite a while so anyway oh hi peep there she is hello she's trying to go after this thing <laughs> Like, favorite, subscribe. Words of wisdom. Just stop talking, bud.